Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Brutal Foods, where today we are going to be... I actually, I don't exactly know what we're gonna be doing today. <laughs> I got inspired by watching probably a bit too much Hell's Kitchen, and I thought that doing a blindfolded taste test challenge would be fun if we gave it a bit of a brutal foods twist. I've had an impartial third party purchase and then randomize three of the banquet bowl meals. I've never had a banquet bowl before. I don't know which ones were bought, uh, so I'm going to be digging into them completely blind blindfolded actually. I don't want to be able to see the food. I want this to be a test of my taste. A taste test, if you will. I've got instructions on how to prepare the bowls and then once we're done, I have a handy pie key so I can figure out what I ate and uh, how many of my guesses I got correct. As for the blindfold, I kind of figured watching me wear this Bedtime Bliss blindfold would get a little weird. I mean, a full episode where you can't see my eyes seems like it might be a little unsettling to watch. So I modified it a bit and handcrafted my own blindfold uh, to bring you, the viewers, the natural comfort uh, that my gaze tends to bring. Okay, now that that's all out of the way, I'm ready for someone to bring me a pie. It's pie time. Pie me. Somebody give me a pie. How am I gonna get the pies? Okay, all right. This uh, it should be interesting. <laughs> Just from the smell of this, uh, I'm gonna say chicken. I'm gonna say it smells a little chicken brothy. This is probably a, a chicken, maybe it's a regular just chicken pot pie. I don't really know. Uh, this one feels normal size. Um, it feels like a pot pie. There's my fork. That sounded good. That sounded like a pot pie. Ooh, how's that look? That's looking pretty tasty, isn't it? Is it hot? Is it like steaming? Should I blow on it? I can't even tell how close it is to my mouth. That's chicken. That's chicken. It's not the best chicken I've ever had, but that is a chicken pot pie. This isn't that bad. Um, I'm having a hard time tasting the uh, like the broth, it doesn't feel like there's like a soup or a broth. It just kind of feels like a solid, dry chunk, which is not how I typically think of my, uh, my pot pies. That was more chicken. I'm just eating pieces of chicken. Does that look like a better bite? It really feels dry. I feel like I'm pulling it out of like a dry cake, not a pot pie. That was a better bite. I got some of the uh, gravy or whatever. Oh my God. Hmm. Well, the, now that the taste test is over, I'm gonna make my guess that this is a chicken pot pie. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. It really just tastes like your typical chicken. It's probably got some peas in there, maybe some carrots. The crust is okay. It's not a Marie Callender's crust. It kind of has a funky, almost breakfasty taste. Kind of like a breakfast biscuit or something, but not too bad. Honestly, I was expecting worse for Banquet. Maybe my opinion would change if I could see it, um, but as it stands, I would recommend eating this pot pie blindfolded. Would recommend. You know, I feel more comfortable blindfolded. I can't see the camera, which I think is what really stresses me out when I make videos. I feel like I'm in my own little world. And since I am filming on the high-tech, uh, very advanced Brutal Moose green screen soundstage, that means that not only can I exist in my own little world, I can take you guys there too. So let's go on a journey for our next pot pie. Let's not sit around here. We've been here before. I live here. Instead, we're gonna take a little trip, a little journey.
Okay, everybody, it's time for pie number two. As you can see, we're currently floating through space and uh, look over here, what's over there? I can't believe my eyes, that is incredible. You know, there's so much to see in space, it's why I really love taking my pot pies out here, man. Look at that, I didn't expect to see that around here, did you? Before I can eat this pie though, I think we should settle down. Uh, I think I see a, a meteor over here. Uh, let's just make our way over there. Okay, much better, much better. We're on to pie number two. Where's my camera? Um, we're on to pie number two. And where's my camera? Where is my camera? Oh wait, I got it. But I don't smell anything coming from this pot pie. I can smell the crust, which smells really good, but I just smell the crust. What's happening? What's happening? That's not right. What's happening? This isn't correct. This isn't correct. Hold on. I gotta put the camera down. Something's going on. I can't get the food out of this pot pie. Okay, wait there. It came out. It came out. Okay. I smell nothing. I don't smell anything. <laughs> I mean, you take a look. What do you think this should smell like? It should smell like something, right? Is it because we're in space? I'm not sure that there are smells in space. Oh wait, I smell ham. I smell breakfast ham and cheese. I smell... That's what I smell. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think I'm on the right track but the texture really shocked me. The first pot pie just seems so dry. This one seems really slimy. It's almost like I'm eating some mac and cheese. Actually, you know what? That's kind of what it tastes like. It kind of tastes like bacon mac and cheese. Oh my God, it's so hot. Oh my God. I sure hope that's mac and cheese. Chances are, it is mac and cheese, but when you're blindfolded, you don't really know what to expect. And just the texture, that slimy texture of mac and cheese is just giving me the heebie-jeebies. I forget where I pointed the camera. Are you here? Or are you here? I think you might be over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start looking over here. I'm having a hard time convincing myself that a mac and cheese pot pie is a real thing. <laughs> It's like I'm eating brains. It's like I'm sitting here chowing down on alien brains. I've convinced myself it's mac and cheese. I had to use all of my available senses to make that decision. Taste, it's reminding me of Panera's uh, bacon mac and cheese. I'm not a big mac and cheese guy, but that's one of the few mac and cheeses that I'm really into. And it's kind of giving me that vibe, only if it tasted not as good. Smell, I still feel like I'm smelling ham and cheese. Uh, so that would make sense if it's like a ham and cheese, mac and cheese. Can't do sight, sight's out. I mean, if you've forgotten, I'm actually wearing a blindfold. I'm not sure if you remember. Feel, touch, the mouth feel of this food is very slimy and I feel like I can taste noodles like when it's folded over on itself and you kind of bite through and you can feel both parts of the noodle in your mouth. I think that's what I'm mouth feeling. But what really sold me on the mac and cheese hypothesis was the sound. It sounds a lot like mac and cheese. Listen, listen. <laughs> sounds like mac and cheese, right? I'm locking it in. Official guess is bacon mac and cheese pot pie. As for my blindfolded recommendation, I'm gonna say that if you like mac and cheese, this is a pretty good option. I figured out that it was mac and cheese, assuming that it's actually mac and cheese. But if it is mac and cheese, that means that it was well made enough to where I could figure it out without looking at it. And that's a positive. Yeah, that's bacon mac and cheese. Needs more bacon, but overall not that bad. I'm gonna rate this one as good if it is mac and cheese. If not, uh, stay away. And it's sad to say, but it's time to move on to our last pot pie. I feel like this is moving a little quickly because 
I don't have my sight. So we're missing a whole branch of normal reactions. All we got is taste. Pretty interesting idea. Maybe not the best when it comes to videos, uh, but we'll find out. Anyway, let's go to number three. I'm feeling pretty good. I think so far I'm two for two. So uh, let's see if Banquet can beat me. Hey everybody, it's me, Ian Moosey, and I'm driving around town looking for the best eats in town. <laughs> Currently, I'm making my way into Flavortown, USA, where I'm gonna be trying a pot pie that mom used to make. I finally made my way to the Flavortown Diner, where we're gonna be eating one of these delicious pot pies. Um, I'm very excited. But of course, as you all know, uh, because of a horrible accident uh, last episode, I can't see right now. I'm having to wear protective goggles to protect my eyes. So while I do know it's a pot pie, I'm unsure of the contents. It's very round. You know, it smells familiar. It smells like a smell that I think I should know. What was that? Ah! Italian. A spaghetti? Assuming the last pot pie was indeed mac and cheese, I guess a spaghetti pot pie isn't insane. It's either spaghetti or it's like a hot pocket, but a pot pie version. It's gotta be one of those two. Oh wait, that's upside down. I got something though. Yeah, pizza sauce, some type of Wow. Tomato-y sauce. It's gotta be like wow. a pizza. It's gotta be a pizza thing. I can't believe I keep missing my face. It's definitely an Italian sausage of some sort. Um, I'm on the right track yet again. Oh my God, it's hot. Holy crap. I'm changing my mind. That could be spaghetti and meatballs. It sure did feel like I got a meatball right there. I think Banquet might have a better grasp on Italian foods than other foods. Where's my fork? There it is. I remember really liking their spaghetti and meatballs, so meatballs. I'm not surprised meatballs, meatballs. Uh, that I like their meatballs. You know, their meatball is definitely meatballs. better than meatballs. the chicken meatballs. Meatball, or whatever meatballs. mystery meat I was meatballs. eating meatballs. in the first meatballs. pot meatball. pie. Meatball. Yeah, that's a meatball. It's gotta be spaghetti and meatball or some type of meatball, meat sauce, um, pot pie. It's either gonna be pizza pot pie or spaghetti pot pie, but it's marinara sauce, some spices and meatballs. Meatball. I think that might be it. I'm trying to decide if there's any cheese in here. I definitely don't notice any noodles. I feel like all that's in here from a fork feel perspective uh, is the sauce and some lumpy meats, some lumpy meats balls. Ah, uh, oh, I don't know. No, I'm, oh. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, thinking back to those lean pockets that I really like, these are really similar. But I'm gonna say lean pockets are gonna be better because of the bread to sauce ratio. This is more like a soup. You know, it's more like a soup. So while this is probably the best pot pie that I've had today, I would rather get a lean pocket. I think a lean, I mean, you can eat it on the go too. It's in that little container. You don't have to have a bowl, like a pot pie bowl. It's pretty good. Good enough to where I feel like I should save it and see how it, the, in, the, bleh. Uh, so now I feel like I'm ready to see if I got my guesses correct. I think that I'm three for three. I've got the results here of uh, which pie is which, and I'm gonna take a peek. I can't see anything. <laughs> So according to this documentation here, the first thing I ate was indeed a chicken pot pie. Upon reflection, it was definitely the most normal pot pie that I tried today and not a terrible option uh, when it comes to frozen pot pies. It's not as good as Marie Calendar, but if you're trying to save a few bucks, I don't really know what the price difference is, but if you're trying to save some money, I think the banquet chicken pot pie really wasn't that bad. It was fine. It was a pot pie. 
It's fine. Fine. The second one I ate was indeed bacon mac and cheese. That one was really not that bad. I know in the moment I was a little iffy on the mac and cheese and the noodles, but I think I'd have a hard time telling it apart from other bacon mac and cheeses if I did a blind taste test of just those. Maybe next time, instead of trying to decipher what three different meals are, maybe I should blind test three of the same and choose the best. Maybe that makes a bit more sense. I didn't really plan this out past eating food with blindfolds on, so that's why we're here. <laughs> and the last pot pie is called Meat Lover. A little strange, I, I thought that there was only meatballs in it. So um, maybe I missed something, maybe there's different types of meat in it. I don't know, put it back here. This is what I ate. I don't really know how I feel about calling it Meat Lover. Uh, maybe Meatball Lover or just meatball lover. Just call it meatball lover. And I guess that's the end of tasting things with the blindfold on. Um, I hope that was satisfying. <laughs> Next time I'll maybe think it through a little bit better, but uh, it was still pretty fun. It was a different, interesting food experience, which uh, I'm into. Before I go, there's one more place we need to visit. So strap in, uh, get your goggles on, because uh, we got to go, uh, we got to go. We just got to go. Okay, shh, keep it quiet. I think we should be close. I'm gonna take a look down below and see what I can see. Shh, but be quiet, we're, shh. Oh look, it's little Ian. Remember him from the previous Bombfell brand deal? This video is sponsored by Bombfell. Maybe if we listen close, we can hear what he is saying about his great clothes. Man, shopping for clothes is hard, right guys? Yes! Thanks bros, I knew you'd have my back. Sometimes I just wanna get some nice clothes that look good on me without having to leave the house because it's 2019 and my laziness should be catered to. Enter Bombfell, the service that hooks men up with personal stylists so they can get hand-picked outfits delivered right to their home without having to leave the house. Here's how it works. First, you sign up and tell Bombfell your measurement and styling preferences. Then you tell Bombfell what articles of clothing you're looking for. Once your personal stylist has reviewed your information and hand-picked some clothes for you, you can look them over and either order the outfit or request some changes. For instance, my stylist picked out a pretty good outfit, but I was on the hunt for some bolder colors, and uh, he really came through. I like this shirt. The clothes are shipped right to your door. You can return any clothes that you don't like, and for the ones that you do enjoy, the more you keep, the more you save. Keep four items or more and get 20% off? Wow! You receive clothes when you want, and you can pause and cancel the service at any time. Bumfell also offers gift cards, which would make a great gift for any guy in your life, especially if they dress like a trash can and could use the help. So head on over to bombfell.com slash brutal moose for an exclusive $25 off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-F-E-L-L dot com slash brutal moose. Thanks again for the sponsorship and cool clothes, Bombfell. I'm going to wear them. Yes. Wow, that sure sounds like a great service that I'm gonna use. In fact, this is already, it's a Bombfell shirt, and you didn't even know. It's very comfortable. And I like to rub it against my arms because of how soft it is. <laughs>